hello my lovely youtube family welcome back to another vlog my name is gulani flora i'm not temba temba is my surname i'm saying this simply because a lot of people refer to me as temba temba is my surname so i'm gulani flora and welcome back to my channel this is the beginning of a new vlog but before we get into the vlog oh my gosh my hand i broke my tripod it was so new but it's broken anyway <sighs> today is the beginning of a new vlog and um to all of my returning subscribers to all the members of the wonderful world welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel welcome back to the wonderful world i hope that you will stay here forever and you enjoy the content that i share on my channel so this channel is just about vlogs and um as we go forward it's gonna be also about sit down conversations about evolving into the best version of ourselves and etc so this is me just sharing my life and evolving into the best version of myself i also have a second youtube channel called the wealth doctor tv where i share personal finance education content so if you are interested please also go subscribe on that channel as well so um today i'm beginning a new vlog a few days in my life and it's sunday i'm gonna go out so i'm going to take you along i'm going to show you snippets and oh my gosh this lipstick snippets and sh whatever it's called of um the outing so i'm just going to do to share with you my fragrance of the day i'm about to spray um i'm just looking for it in the closet skunk mind I'm about to spray my fragrance of the day. So YouTubers do this. So I joined the YouTube gang of sharing fragrance of the day. So this is my fragrance of the day. Is the Guess um, Bella Vita by Guess. I got this as a gift. So yeah, I don't even know where it's from, but the bottle looks really cute and fancy. So why not, honey? Why not, guys? There's one thing about me, I waste perfume, so don't judge me, Larry. Good chala perfume, ka good. Mmm, it smells so. I smell like a moneyed man. Yeah. Ooh, ciao. <laughs> anyway, you guys. I <clears throat> yeah, I'm like a Anyway, this is just the beginning of a new vlog, and yeah, I hope that you enjoy.
which one would you recommend? Which cake would I recommend? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, I'd have that one. I was looking at that one. So one of this and one of this. Happy Monday! I know that looks so fake. I have a headache, like I have a terrible headache. The plan was to wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning and study, but headache was like no honey boo boo. It's not gonna happen. But I finally managed to shower, and I'm now going to. Uh, what's this? I almost said I'm now going to bath. <laughs> I'm going to study, guys. My house is a mess, but. I'm writing so normally when it's exam season don't expect to see my house clean I'm gonna try clean it though later when I'm cooking I'm gonna try wash the dishes and just put a put away I can but I think I'm gonna do a proper cleaning after writing which is on the fifth so I'm just going to study now and I also bought some groceries online just to top up. It's not like proper proper groceries. I'll do that uh probably I don't know. I don't wanna lie. So yeah, I'm gonna study now. So bye. Guys, one thing about school, it is toxic. School is toxic. Like, this exam was fire. Like, the, these lecturers were... <clears throat> they were fighting. They were fighting. Hey, Mo? Give me a moment, I'm honest. However, life goes on, but for it, life goes on. I haven't bathed, I haven't eaten, I haven't done anything, and it's currently what's the time? It's one. So I'm going to shower, clean, then I'm going to get vaccinated, then I'm going to buy a few stuff from Pig and Pay and Woods. And come back home because at this point like this is um the stuff so yeah um at least i'm not putting up a front and only doing vlogs where everything is going well in my life I'm also showing you when I'm seeing flames, Bohan. Also, when I come back, or probably another day when I find time, but most probably when I come back, I want to have a sit-down chat, a one-on-one -on -one chat with you guys about year-end fatigue because, Mina, I'm tired. And also, one reason where, why I didn't do like my level-level best in this is honestly because of year-end fatigue. Mara, we'll talk about it when I get back. Let me go shower and actually I'm going to start by doing the dishes, shower and then go. And then when I come back, I'll just do the rest of the stuff. And then I will have the conversation with you guys because they are Goa and maybe other people can also relate to what I'm going through. Let's share our struggles, guys. Let's share our struggles, but I'll comment further on it when i have the sit down also my hair ooh child gooby like gooby like hmm like a sharp on me nah the sharp like i'm i'm really good with life and school school is toxic okay let me stop but school is toxic school is toxic
pool is toxic anyway let me go and shower marawana says fit and mudi now i know i'm going to pass this shower i'm not going to pass i get it all i know is i'm going to pass but yay Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, let me go shower, guys. I just needed to vent. Mm -mm. I just shop. Otherwise, guys, it's time to go. I'm wearing my melanin hat. Um, I'm wearing this. Oh, my room. I'm wearing this thing. A body, parky body, body suit or whatever. Leggings. And I'm wearing some boots. I don't know if they can show. Yeah. So I don't want to wear a hoodie because I feel like the brown and my hair matches and the black as well. But what? So I just have to throw on a hoodie. So I'm going to throw on a hoodie and go out to the shops. Okay. I might not be allowed to get vaccinated because it's not been a long time since I got COVID. So. There's a guy cute kiss of nanny. There's a guy cute kiss of nanny. Bye, guys. Hi, family. Oh, I'm so tired. I just came back from the shops and I'm um, just going to show you guys what I bought. So I hope you enjoy. I'm so tired. Like, get it, guys. Get it. But anyway, let me show you what I got. Eat and relax because otherwise this head looks really good on me like and that's on period that's on period if you also want to look good like me go check out melanin appreciation instagram store hmm. i'm doing a thumbnail <laughs> got this beef lasagna i'm gonna prepare it today for dinner and i'm going to pair it up with a salad so this is a belga wheat and lentil salad uh it wasn't special so i opted for this one 
so yeah i'll show you when i'm making it and when i dish it up how it looks but anyway for now i'm gonna end the vlog here and go eat because i'm hungry so guys um like i had promised that we're gonna speak about year end fatigue when i come back from the store the way i was so tired i couldn't um record it immediately but before we get into that topic um I went to go vaccinate at clicks and then when I got there, they said they no longer do the vaccine. So I'll go vaccinate elsewhere when I get time. So unfortunately, I could not vaccinate today. COVID did come by. But anyway, sorry, let's get into the year and uh, fatigue uh, topic. Like, honestly speaking, guys, my strength for the year is depleted like i no longer have energy to do anything like immediately when i come back from work i just want to sleep on the couch and do nothing and sometimes you might feel like that actually with me it normally happens towards the end of the year where i just feel like you know what bruh i can't do this anymore i'm out i'll see you next year so that's year and fatigue and i might not be the only one who's experiencing it but a lot of people simply because the year is coming to an end and obviously you've been doing a lot through the year you've been through a lot and your mind and your body and your emotions are just exhausted from all of the workload from all of the load guys and to be honest this year has been a really it was a heavy year for me like it wasn't um the sweetest year to me it was really difficult so i just feel like you know what i'm really done with 2021 like i'm closing it this is where it ends i'm out so like even when it comes to like doing things for example like studying like that little strength in me is just gone i just don't even have the strength to just say you know what let's wrap up these exams and finish like I, i'm just like kifodira like i'm no longer putting my all because i'm just so exhausted i'm drained mentally i'm drained physically i'm drained intellectually emotionally like everything in me is drained and yeah it is yeah and fatigue but i also feel like it's also affected by the fact that um this year has not been an easy one like i said um i lost my dad i don't want to go too deep into that because i'm not planning to cry on this vlog not that i do plan to cry on other vlogs but um yeah that has been really yeah it's been it's been tough it's really been tough and it's like the world does not allow you to mourn in peace because it's like now you need to have a timetable to mourn because you have to go to work you have to study you have to write exams you have to be a human being you have to do so much and it's like you don't even have time to just sit down and cry about the fact that you don't have a dad anymore or you don't have a physical dad anymore because now he he exists in the spiritual realm so that for me that adjustment has been really difficult like transitioning from having a physical father to a spiritual one it's just it's it's not it's not easy guys like so i feel like that makes it worse and yeah my mom is calling so let me pick up her call and then we'll continue with this conversation anyway you guys i'm back so i was still saying that um the transitioning from not having my dad physically is so difficult i know that when people pass away their spirits carry on to leave um they look after us etc etc but it still does not change the fact that um i would have loved to have him physically but it's okay um there's nothing that i can do about that it's god's will god's timing and everything happens for a reason which is fine 
but i was just saying that you know what i am tired i am exhausted and i know that i'm definitely not the only person who's experiencing year and fatigue or who's just experiencing a very challenging phase in their lives and i just came here to tell you that um no matter what kind of difficulty you're facing you are not alone and there are so many other people going through the same thing not saying that um your struggles are invalid but what i'm just saying is you're not alone and there's a lot a whole lot of people who can relate to what you're going through and just keep on pushing just keep on um, fighting and don't give up don't give up um i know it feels very hard and sometimes you just want to sleep sometimes you just want to give up but just keep on pushing just keep on fighting and one day you're going to thank yourself so and another thing is one another thing that my dad used to tell me is um he used to say my child life is very difficult but you fight so I know you're exhausted. I know you feel like giving up. I know that life has not been kind. It's not been easy. But um, just fight. Sometimes you don't even have that strength to fight. Mara, just fight. Because at the end of the day, like, like God is alive and he can see the struggles that you're going through and one thing about God is that he always pulls through no matter how difficult the situation is. Mara, he will always pull through for you. So just fight and just hang in there. It's almost over. Like the race is almost over. Um, Today is the 26th of October. Soon it will be November. Soon it will be December. You'll get that time to rest and um restore your energy to begin the new year so i'm going through the most i'm exhausted i'm tired i want the year to end today but unfortunately it can't you probably feel the same but let's keep pushing let's keep fighting and yeah i just wanted to talk about year and fatigue and how tired i am and you know sometimes i know that i have vlogs due but picking up the camera is just so it just feels like a lot of work like just doing this literally it just feels like oh no i don't want to do this but let's fight let's keep pushing be it school be it work be it your business be it your youtube channel whatever it is keep fighting don't give up and always remember what mudim wapil like god is alive and he'll always pull through so anyway guys um i'm gonna have my tea i'm having some rainbow's tea then i'm gonna go to bed because i'm going to work tomorrow so i just wanted to have a chat with you before i go to bed and i'm gonna have my tea and then i'm gonna go sleep and have a beautiful night remember you're not alone in this I care about you so much and I love you so much. I know some of you and I might not know some of you because the family is definitely growing. But just know that I love you and you are in my prayers. And have a beautiful night if you're watching this at night. And if you're watching this at whatever time of the day it is, have a beautiful time of the day. So if it's morning, have a beautiful morning. If it's during the day, have a beautiful day. If it's during the afternoon, have a beautiful afternoon. Cheers and good night. Hello, family. Welcome to another day of the vlog. <laughs> Today I have energy. And I'm so hungry, Mara. I have energy. My skin. Anyway, Erika Scott Toma video got complainer. I'm on study leave. I feel like I'm always on study leave. But that's just the reality of my the wind slammed my door anyway i feel like that's just the reality of my life so yeah i'm on study leave tomorrow is friday i'm writing my last paper and i am done i am done 
so yeah guys um i know it looks like this vlog is not going anywhere actually the plan was to wrap it up uh this past saturday because i was going to make a very it's not a very big purchase but it's one of the big actually it's a big purchase for my apartment and i was going to unbox it with you and close up the vlog but when I got to the shop, it was out of stock and they said they'll call me when it's back in stock. So I could say when it's going to be back in stock. So it, it will have to be included in another vlog because I have to upload this one for Sunday. Anyway, <clears throat> I also bought some few things from Foshini and Zara. Actually, it's just three items, honestly, from Foshini and Zara and i just wanted to show you guys i already used some of the things i already used two of the things and the only item that i didn't use is one item and i'm just gonna show them to you guys i guess but i just feel like this vlog ain't not enough footage and i'm also currently making breakfast so guys because when we are at work i'm always eating like oats muesli with beaks today i just want to have a nice breakfast because why not i'm home so i'm going to show you what i'm making i also threw in some laundry in the basket so i'm just going to take you along through that and then we'll see where this vlog goes and i'm not sure when i'm gonna close it off but um yeah i hope you enjoy i mean if you really like me for me i mean you gotta stay in the family honey some days we're not gonna have footage like today and then some days we're gonna have some interesting footage to share so basically this is my life guys and obviously you subscribe to the channel because maybe you want to be part of my life and see my day-to-day -day life so some days i honestly don't have much to do and have much to unbox and i have to study because i'm writing tomorrow i'm so lazy but i'm just you know last paper syndrome i'm so glad that it's the last paper matter Last paper syndrome is doing this to me. It's choking me. But anyway, let me show you the items. And yeah. So these are the items that I got. Don't mind the background noise. It's my washing machine. So these are the items that I got. So the first item that I got is these shoes from Zara. I love them so much. They're in a size 40. I think size 40 is size 6 or something like that. Or 7, I don't know. But yeah, size 40. They're really nice. But ha, here, it's very painful, sweetheart. Maradona, they're very nice and classy. I'll add a footage of where I was wearing them. And then you'll see how beautiful they look. They're so gorgeous. I love them. And then these I got from Foshini. They were on special. If you buy two, you get the second one 50% off. So I bought this red one. Or oh, is it red or maroon? But yeah, this one. It looks really, really classy and elegant. And I bought this one. And I also got this one. I've always been looking for a bag like this. So I'm glad that I finally got it. And I also love this color. I just feel like it looks really... Hey, my toe. <laughs> I just feel like it looks really nice and classy. Anyway, guys. Yeah. So I have not yet used this one. I, I used this one. I mean, I used the shoes in this bag. But I didn't use this one. So yeah, that's why it still has the price tag and everything on. But it's a very gorgeous bag. Like, look at that. It's really beautiful. I love it. So yeah, these are the items that I got from... Why is it not closing now? Oh, these are the items that I got from Foshini and... um, uh, What's this? And Zara. Uh, let me do this. Okay, but wait, it's a thumbnail, guys. Now nah, I get to be the flat lay or body there as well. Okay, that's gonna be. Let me remove my legs on. That's gonna be my thumbnail. Okay, yes, honey, yes, honey. <laughs> anyway, you guys, let me go show you what I'm making for breakfast. Guys, I'm here to plug you guys the salad. Ne? The salad. <laughs> the salad. The salad. I'm telling you, this salad is the salad. Like, guys, I got... My sister once made breakfast for me and she included this. So, it's just cucumber and this acha. This acha. 
and some mayonnaise hey <laughs> guys so don't say i didn't plug you when i plug you with nice things you must tell me also you must go try the salad and call me tell me about it the salad i'm telling you guys i'm telling you guys my sister thank you i know she's what my sister plugs me with a lot of things guys like I recommend, I highly recommend uh, having sisters because they'll plug you with beautiful things in life. Anyway, the salad. I repeat, the salad. Go try it and call me. Did you Bulela when you have tried it? For now, you have no right to say anything. You have every right to remain silent. Anyway, let me show you what I'm having for breakfast. Guys, this is a lot of food. I don't even know if I'm going to finish this. Like, it's a load mm. and i'm having it with some coffee in my carol boys mug i love this mug so yeah i'm going to indulge and i'm also watching youtube i'm watching ino manchiri's video most of you know her as randani from movango but yeah, let me enjoy this baby over here. Morning, everyone. So today's Friday. It's the day of the exam. So today it's quite an emotional day for me because this year I have has been the toughest and um i feel like today is my last day of the year and as much as the year is gonna end on the 31st of december my year ends today because um academically things have really been tough and also the events that occurred in my life did not make life any better so yeah it's quite an emotional day for two reasons number one that after writing this paper, it's going to be finally over for this year. And that just gives me, it just makes me so emotional. It gives me tears of joy. And the second thing is, guys, I had a nightmare about this paper. And so basically what happened in the dream was I was in the process of writing and then Someone came and they attacked me while I was trying to write the paper. And um, they disturbed the whole thing so I couldn't write. So when I thought, Tore, oh, finally, I'm done. Now I couldn't write because that person interrupted the whole process and they were harassing me. And um, those of you, okay, I think I mentioned earlier that I lost my dad. Earlier on in the video that I lost my dad. So my dad was a lawyer so in the dream i was saying yeah you can't do this to me i'm going to tell my dad he's a lawyer he's gonna help me to sort of like report what the person was doing and then again in the dream like i realized that my dad is not there anymore and i had to wake up from that nightmare and that has just been sitting in my heart since morning because it hurt that like it was just like a realization that um he's not there anymore to fight for me like one thing that my dad would always tell me is um as long as i'm still alive i'll make sure that i'll try my best to fight for you like nobody will ever harm you for as long as i'm still alive so now he's gone so this just it's painful um sinking in the reality that he's no longer there anymore and i'll no longer have that person who will do that for me okay besides god but i mean like a physical being not a spiritual being and yeah like my heart is very sore and 
also dreaming about my dad also makes me miss him because obviously it's emotional oh my hand it's emotional and all of that so it's a very emotional morning and this is the reality of life Hore. in as much as you're not feeling well emotionally you just have to show up for your paper i mean if i had a choice look at me i think i'm, I'm tearing up i need to stop this now. like oh my god it's like if i had a choice i would have chose to like stay in bed and cry my heart out because i miss my dad but i just have i have to show up for this paper and i have to write it and i have to make sure that i do my best regardless of the fact that i'm not like okay emotionally to tackle this paper but like i always say um i'll be able to do it and yeah it's hard but it's okay so i think i'm going to end this vlog today um i made an order to an order from take a lot yesterday and they said it's gonna be delivered next week but then this morning i just received a message that it's going to be delivered before five today so if it gets delivered i'll close the vlog with a haul of what i got from take a lot and then if it does not get delivered then um this is where i'm going to wrap it up and yeah so what time is it now it's probably quarter past eight and the exam is going to start at half past eight so i'm just waiting for that now and i'm going to write this paper and yeah i just thought i should open up to you guys and yeah i mean it's part of life i guess and you might also be going through your own challenges but though the way life is set up or the system of life requires you to still show up in whatever it is that you are doing it might be work it might be school it might you be your business you still have to show up and you cannot afford to 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 to, to sit down and say you want to cry i just saw a quote on instagram now and it says um how many times have you postponed um your what's this how many times have you postponed your mental breakdowns no not mental and emotional breakdown because you do not have the luxury to sit down and cry so i feel like i've been going through a lot of that um this whole year and now that i'm writing this paper and i'll be done i feel like i'll have more time for myself and my emotions and just to grieve my loss um properly so yeah i miss my dad i mean but it's life i guess i really miss him and if really when people die they look upon us blah 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 i really hope you can see that um i miss him and another thing guys that i've been doing that sort of like gave me comfort because my dad was one person who would always encourage me when it comes to my academics was so now every time that i write i keep his um i took his glasses from home so i keep his glasses in my office so whenever i write i just put them in front of me and it just sort of like gives me that thing oh my gosh i'm gonna get emotional i don't want to cry on this video it just makes me it just encourages me to see that you know what i can do it and sort of like makes me feel like my dad is with me so whenever i write i just put it in front of me and i don't know it just has that thing it's comforting to have this so this is the only item that i have of my dad's and yeah it's only that um our glasses were not the same so my these were his reading glasses so if we had the same is it eyesight or whatever i would wear them while i'm writing but the thing is now they they not made for my eyes so i can't see when i'm wearing them so i just keep them in front of me but if i could i was gonna wear them while i'm writing because i just feel like it's really comforting 
anyways guys um i just spent the whole eight minutes venting but yeah that's the reality of it it hurts i don't think it'll ever be okay but i just feel like you get used to it <sighs> it's very emotional i'm going to write it's going to be a mess but i know that god is with me and i'm going to do well and i'm going to pass this paper anyway i'll see you if the product well products if the order arrives i'll do a haul and then close off this vlog if it doesn't um if the vlog ends without me doing a haul then you know that they didn't arrive today and it will be in the next vlog anyway you guys um i hope that uh you are okay god is with you god loves you and i love you as well and thank you so much for being part of my family so let me go now it's been long since i've been talking but anyway I'll see you in the next vlog. Love you so much.